So how is food poisoning normal? And and what on what planet? Cause it's definitely not it's definitely not planet Earth. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel i'm still getting used to this camera so bear with me as y'all see by the title of the video i will be doing a college advice or like tips kind of video whatever you want to call it it's the perfect time to give y'all some little tips or tricks or whatever because school's around the corner it's the beginning of august and some of y'all i think have already started school or you're about to start school so i'm like what other perfect time to film this video than now so i told y'all to ask me a few questions or give me some suggestions of things to talk about for this video and y'all came through y'all came through or some of y'all came through some of y'all be just looking at my stuff and don't be saying nothing and it's like at this point go ahead and log off for me go ahead and follow me because what are you following me for <laughs> but no y'all my phone is really on four percent like come on now gotta do better we gotta do better yeah, I came through. Then I also wrote some notes like on my own. So I pro I'm probably gonna go through my notes first and then answer the questions, I don't know. And I'm gonna try to separate the video in sections or like give y'all a timestamp. So if you wanna like skip and just listen to a certain part. I'm looking weird, it's cause I have this like light attached to my camera and it's really bright and it's low key blinding me. So yeah, <laughs> no. Balancing school and social life, okay. So there's not really any like specific way to go about it. Everyone functions differently. Everyone has a different way about going about things. But I would say my biggest tip is to obviously prioritize school first. Like if you're ever in a situation to where it's like, okay, do I choose to do my, for example, do I choose to try to like do my homework? Should I go to this party? Always do the homework first. Like obviously, you know. I feel like college, you know, especially like colleges that are like known for parties. Like my school is like a party school, so it's easy to get caught up in all that stuff and like the events, parties, and blah blah. blah that stuff is always going to be there and i feel like we get wrapped up in all the fun we tend to forget why we're really there college is not cheap okay why are you paying all this money to just sit up here and not even do your work and just party all the time like then professors don't care like it's way different from high school then professors don't care you don't want to show up to class don't but guess how much money you're paying for those classes they're still getting paid whether you show up or not Okay, this is not just a regular teacher, this is a professor. So they're getting paid regardless. So if you wanna sit up there and waste your money and waste your scholarship money or loan money or whatever you're using to fund your college, then that's kind of just irresponsible. So definitely put school first. If you know you need to study, if you know you need to get that assignment in by a certain time, the party's always gonna be there. The events are always gonna be there. That's always going to be there, but like, come on time is money and you don't want to waste time in college because like i said it's expensive like you need to make the money you're spending there worth worthwhile okay actually try to get something out of it and if you that's not something you want to do then maybe you're in the wrong place okay yeah but to avoid ever being in that you know battle i would just recommend getting all your assignments and studying and just school related stuff out the way so when the time comes if you know you have a party coming up you know a party, let's say for example again, you know you have a party to go to this weekend, but okay, I'm gonna do all my work now, so when a weekend come, I don't even have to stress about it, I don't have to try to hurry up and scramble before the deadline, like just get all that out of the way now, get that important stuff out of the way, and then there comes the parties and the, all that stuff. Worst thing is being at a party and you know you got an assignment due that night or tomorrow night or whatever the case may be like, you know, you're not really gonna have a fun time because in the back of your head, you're stressing like, oh my God. You really wanna prioritize your schoolwork first. Balancing work, everyone has a different studying tactics and things that work for them. So that may vary. If you see a study tactic on TikTok or Instagram, or whatever, don't feel pressured to try to do that exact one because that may not work for you. Everyone has different learning styles. So just try to play around and figure out what works for you. But I would recommend, is um, definitely staying organized. That means having the different like supplies for the different classes. I feel like college, you don't really need a lot of supplies. Honestly, you really just need like a laptop or a computer or iPad. Like it's really, a lot of it is like 
typing you're not really going to be writing a lot but for studying i do recommend take notes during your lectures lectures are long most of the time they're boring so definitely just try to thug it out and take as many notes as you can try to make them look nice they don't have to be all aesthetic and you don't have to get too caught up in that don't stress about that but just make sure it's readable obviously because there's been times where like i'll be rushing taking notes and then i'll go back to read them and child i can't even read what i wrote like so it's like you know make sure it's somewhat like nice to the eye like you know I, I know that works for me like i like to take cute notes sometimes like i said don't stress yourself out about doing that all the time but sometimes you have time or if you feel like it just try to take like some little cute notes and it's just like more motivating to look back at rather than just like a paper just full of just ugly words you know so try to like highlight color whatever works for you so don't feel pressured to do what someone else is doing do what works for you or i know even like there's an app called notion or like there's a bunch of like different like cute note apps for like macbooks or ipads and say so even though most of it is like device based like you're probably just going to be typing a lot still keep like a little notebook um note cards to just take notes. oh i would recommend giving yourself a designated time or day of the week however you want to schedule it but like make a set time just for your work or just for studying like you don't want to just go with the flow going with the flow in college like work wise i don't recommend you're just gonna get all thrown off especially if you're taking like a more competitive or harder major or harder classes going with the flow is not gonna cut it you need like a schedule like okay on these day on these days monday wednesday friday whatever i'm going to do my homework i'm going to study at this time you need a designated time so try to just I know when you first start school, it'll be like kind of all over the place, especially as a freshman. So just try to fill out where you feel comfortable in your schedule and then you feel like, okay, this day I'll have time for studying. Stay strict on that. So if there's any party or any event or your friends trying to go out, but that's cutting into your work time or study time, they gotta go. Like, mm-mm. I'll see you later, girl. We'll catch up later. I'll, I'll text you later. Like, but I gotta do my work. Okay, just try to stay in that mindset don't be easily influenced pressure and friends that's a whole nother topic that we're gonna get into later in the video extracurricular activities um don't feel pressured to do any extracurricular activities especially as a freshman everything's just gonna be it's kind of gonna be a lot it's gonna be overwhelming in a good and a bad way i'm not gonna lie it's not just all peaches and cream it's your first year being like probably you're probably in a dorm away from your parents like on your own some of y'all are going like in a whole different state so it's gonna be a lot so don't pressure yourself to get involved in all these different things like you need to just prioritize getting used to the new environment and stay on top of your work now if you feel like you have the time and you have the mental capacity then you do so but don't feel pressure everyone else is doing it okay cool that's them but like i said stay true to you it's really easy to get caught up and what everyone else is doing but that's just not going to get you anywhere this is just a life tip in general everyone moves at their own pace this is something i'm still reminding myself to this day like i'm still trying to remember but everyone moves at their own pace you moving at someone else's pace is just not going to click because how they do it is not how you do. definitely try to like get out there and like try different things but like i said don't feel pressured to do that if you don't have time if you already feel overwhelmed don't cram yourself with more stuff because it's just it, that just never ends up good don't overwhelm yourself more than you're already going to be already be too much going on okay i didn't even really do an extracurricular activity my first year um the only thing i did outside of school was work um so yeah you could like have a job on campus you could join a club you could join like there's like a bunch of things to do um college definitely has way more options than high school like it's like never ending opportunities basically so once you get more comfortable then you'll eventually go into that but don't stress yourself your first year doing that kind of goes into my like maintaining your mental health i feel like your mental health should definitely come first and i know that's a constant battle between work and mental health like there's been times where i'm like bro like i literally want to have a mental breakdown but i have to study I would recommend putting your mental health first because me personally, I can only do my work if I'm in a good state of mind. So I can't do my work if I'm over here having a mental breakdown, I'm upset. Like I need to give myself time to, whether that's a little 
quick five minute meditation whether that's a nap whether that's some food because you know sometimes we, we be hungry that's why we be cranky we be hungry so i would say definitely put yourself first put your mental health first rather than your work or if you know you're having you're already having a bad day and you're like damn i gotta study at five o'clock like be like okay what can i do to mentally prepare myself to study because I promise you, if you're in a bad mood and you're trying to do your work or study, you're probably gonna have to do it. And I would rather just put my 100% into my work rather than half doing it because I was angry, I was irritated, or whatever the case may be. So just try to think to yourself, okay, what can I do to mentally prepare to do my work? Do I need to eat something? Do I need to take a little nap? Do I need to like journal? Like try to just, get more comfortable with like taking accountability for like your feelings and really being self-aware okay because trust me it'll reflect in your work your attitude and your mood it will definitely reflect in your work there's been times i'll have to do work because i'm too tired or i'm irritated and i don't get the grade that i want rather than times to where i'm like okay i'm like on a like i had some little fuel i had good sleep and then i get an a because you know, like I had energy to put into my work. So that makes a huge difference. Trust me, professors notice they, I don't know how, but they notice if you just have did your work rather than if you really took the time and effort to accomplish like what you had to do in that class. So they know. So don't think you can fool them, they know. That's really all I wanted to cover, I guess. Um, so now I'm gonna answer y'all questions. First question is sleep routine, recommended times to sleep. That's a good question. I mean, the obvious answer, don't be staying up late till like two, three in the morning. Okay, I mean, if it's, if it's like a party night on a weekend, that's a different story. But like, if you know you have a class in the morning, why are you up till 4 a.m.? Like, you're setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up. And if you know that you and sleep don't get along, like, you already because sometimes my sleep schedule be off if you know you're that type of person that don't like to get up in the morning you're just tired you're sluggish don't pick morning classes i'm telling you. maybe your thing if you have trouble with sleep maybe your thing needs to be later classes so you could be able to sleep in and then go to class if you are a morning person then i recommend taking morning classes that way you have the whole rest of your day to yourself and you can go to sleep early you know like college is a lot of freedom there's so many different options so do what works for you if you know you don't like to get up early in the morning, don't pick a morning class. Like, you're setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up. But anyway, yeah, sleep routine. Okay, let's say you do have the regular standard morning classes. Obviously, don't stay up late. Um, you definitely need to set yourself a little bedtime. Like, okay, I need to be, like, I'll be like, okay, I need to be sleep by, or I need to be laying down by like 10 11 i need to be laying it down by like 11 o'clock i need to be asleep by like 12 12 30. so just give yourself a little time like okay like at this time like phone is off lights is off to your roommate hopefully you got a roommate to where y'all can agree on like when it's time to go to bed like hey i'm gonna hit the lights off like it's time to go ahead and wrap it up what's a must-have in a dorm there's so many must-haves y'all i'm gonna tell y'all the main one i would definitely say dang that's a hard question a must have in a dorm a must have is definitely mattress topper i don't know if this is for all colleges i think it is though because i heard it's like a universal thing but them dorm beds be feeling like jail beds y'all and i never went to jail so i don't really know but you will literally wake up sore so it's so bad so i definitely recommend a, mat a mattress topper mine was trash so it didn't really help that much but it was better than sleeping on a mattress that they provided so it was it was something okay it got me it got me through the gear i guess but there would be mornings where i would literally wake up sore so i would recommend investing in a really good mattress top they're not that expensive i don't think i think maybe at the most you're gonna pay for a mattress topper is like 30 40 dollars maybe mine was cheap like I said, that's probably why I didn't work that good. Mine was probably like $15 at Target, but I recommend getting you a really good mattress topper because like I said, you're going to need good sleep to function through college. You're, you need good sleep, okay? So definitely get a really good mattress topper so you don't have any back problems, okay? We don't want back problems. Now, I would say my second most, like the second most main thing that you need, like this is not a optional. This is like, you need this. A shower caddy i know not all colleges have communal bathrooms but i know i did and child 
Mm, it's a different question. We don't get into that. But you need a shower caddy because my door was probably like five doors down from the shower. And you don't want to be carrying all your soaps like this over here, dropping your soaps in the floor. Like, no, just get a little shower caddy. I had a... Um, one from Amazon. I'll try to find it. If not, I'll just put another one on the screen or something like for an example. But like just have all your little, everything you need for that shower, put that in your shower caddy. Carry it to the shower. Boom. Get one that'll be good to like, I guess that you could put on the floor of the shower or like you could like hang up some showers like mine. We had like little hooks outside of the shower. So get something that'll like work for that. But yeah, you definitely need a shower caddy and shower shoes. For a communal bathroom like you need shower shoes like that should be just a. I would I would hope you use shower shoes okay mine were like you clearly get flip-flops like they were I got mine for literally like five dollars at Target okay y'all so some of this stuff is really affordable yeah let me know if y'all want like an in-depth like dorm essentials type of video because I can film that too um I'm not staying in a dorm this school year I'm doing online so but I could like give y'all some tips or whatever. Like, let me know, let me know. Pros and cons to living in the dorms. Hmm. I would say a con definitely is of obviously not having your own space. That might not be a problem for everyone, but I know me personally, I'm big on like my own space. I've been needing my own little bubble to just you know, like I've been in my own little bubble. So that's definitely a con having to like share. I mean, it depends on your roommate because it might not be that much of a con. Like my roommate, I love her. She's probably watching this right now. What's up, girl? I was like, y'all, I was so scared. I was gonna get like a weirdo. Like I'm like, oh my God, like God, please. And he blessed me with the roommate I got and I love her. Like we're literally so close now. And yeah, like she was the best. So hopefully y'all all get like a really good roommate like me. But yeah, it wasn't that much of a con for me, but like even then still like, I just like have my own space too, like regardless. But she didn't make that hard for me. We didn't make it hard for each other. Like we were like the communal bathrooms are also common. Like I said, not all dorms have that. So if you don't, you're lucky. But I did. Communal bathrooms, child, just dirty. Just dirty. And like I try not to judge because everyone has different like hygiene practices or like way they grew up but like some stuff is like how old are we like most of us are like of age to where like we should know how to clean up after ourselves like y'all it was bad like it was bad so that's definitely a con pros um it's just like having that time to be away from your parents if you like seek that freedom me i rather just be at home i don't mind being around my mom so but yeah, like if you really like want to get out the house and you like, I'm tired of my parents, like being in a dorm is cool because you get to just, you basically just, it's your own little place. It's your own little place basically, like it's cool. Depending on which dorm you have. How do you make friends? Um, I'm still trying to learn that myself, y'all. I don't know how I got friends. I'm, my social anxiety is like through the roof. Like, I don't know how, like, I'm just blessed that God blessed me with like amazing, the amazing people that I met. Like my two close friends, they know who they are. Like I'm so grateful for them, but I can't really give advice on how to make friends. Like it, it was just like natural. Like, so yeah, I'm not really the right person to ask about that. I would definitely say, just try to be open. Try not to be so closed off and just try not to look all like mean, like, try to look approach like a lot of people like they're gonna like try to like walk up to you and talk to you ask your questions like oh like da 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 what's your major like you know little like conversation starter if you don't look approachable then no one's gonna they're gonna be like okay well obviously she doesn't want to talk oh sorry i have to turn my ring light off because it was making my camera overheat so the lighting is a little bit darker now or wonky sorry about that but i'm almost done so just bear with me um yeah where were they at um oh how do you make friends don't be scared to start conversations everyone especially on the first day like that's the perfect time because if you wait too long into the year everybody already have their little cliques their little groups established already just try to on the first day make that your roster you know what i'm saying like they got a roster like make your roster on the first day like on the first day because like everyone else is nervous too you're not the only one nervous me everyone's nervous especially if they're a freshman like you especially if they're a freshman like you and i'm pretty sure most of the classes that you're in your freshman year there's a bunch of other freshmen in that class too try to just spot out those people that also look approachable i'm sorry for this angle okay someone said going to sac state in the fall which dorm is you staying i stayed in jenkins it sound like the name janky okay they weren't like horrible but like 
it was definitely getting in trenches low key like low key but it wasn't horrible i've heard worse i've heard some schools having like roaches and like i didn't have no bug issues at all they knew better because me and bugs i don't play with bugs i do not play like that i was only an hour away from home i would have been right back in his bed like i am right now i would have been in his bed a year ago i don't play with bugs we didn't have any problems with like that or anything they were just like really like not up to date and like stuff was like old like we had like old wooden door i mean old wooden doors and old wooden closets that literally fell off the hinges and they threatened to charge you for a broken property but it's like bro like this is this wood is like ancient like what do you expect what do you expect other than that they were cool um sac state they definitely have better dorms but those are more expensive and yeah so I was just in one of the little regular standard freshman dorms. I was it doing communal bathrooms, child, like I said, it was bad. It was bad. It wasn't like super dirty all the time, but sometimes it would be dirty. We did have like the um, custodians come. I think, I don't know if they came every day, probably like every other day, like every other morning they would come and like clean it up. Yeah, like, I mean, you can only imagine, like it's a bunch of, you know not all girls have the best hygiene unfortunately or hygiene practices so you can just imagine like your average school bathroom but a little bit bigger oh so, yeah they want the best the showers like heck of hair in the showers and me i am a germaphobe i think college made me germaphobic because it was just a lot of stuff a lot of dirt stuff and i just don't like that like and me like this might sound weird but i don't like bathrooms like i feel like the bathroom is like the most dirtiest place ever like no matter how clean it looks it's a bathroom that's what people literally go to the bathroom like it's just that's just dirty and i barely even like sharing a bathroom with my sisters so i have to share a bathroom with the whole freaking hall and it was just not it at all like <sighs> yeah some of the showers would be dirty so yeah, that's why i said have your little shower caddy i know some girls that literally had to like clean the shower before they got in I never took it to that extent um because there was like six different showers so i would just choose the cleanest one um but yeah sometimes i would have to like kind of like spray around with the water like the hair and all that it was just i'm just glad i don't have to go through that but hey it shaped me into a stronger person and i'm grateful for the dorm experience i would just never do it again never great sack states dining hall food i'm gonna insert a picture of that too um it was cute at first it was cute at first and then i don't know if i'm getting trouble for saying this i don't think so i don't care um but i remember in the, be in the beginning of the year people were like getting like food poisoning and then i heard that they went to report it and they didn't care like it was like oh it's normal child how is food poisoning normal and and what on what planet because it's definitely not it's definitely not planet earth it's definitely not planet earth that ain't normal if 